In this video we're going to demonstrate how you can create pre-populated SQLite database files and include those database files as part of your PhoneGap project so that your PhoneGap application can have, can have access to large amounts of data while it's still disconnected. So let's start out now in a brand new project and we'll create a new component and we'll actually use the PhoneGap shell as our, uh, as our component. So we'll go over here and create a, a brand new PhoneGap shell uh, uh, which allows us to run PhoneGap um, applications without having to go to PhoneGap build every time we want to test an application we can just run the application in the uh, the shell. So here's our, our, our component and we're going to go over here to the property section and at the bottom of the property section there's a property here called PhoneGap default settings where you can specify the default plugins that you want when you use this component uh, as the initial component in a PhoneGap project. So I'm going to go over here and uh, you can see that we've got a certain number of plugins already turned on but I'm going to go all the way to the bottom here and I'm going to turn on this uh, plugin here, the SQLite plugin extended because that's the plugin that is used for the um, SQLite uh, functionality in Alpha Anywhere. So I'm going to just go ahead now and click OK and then save this and then call this uh, Shell. So now that we've built a UX component we can go now to the PhoneGap Genie and build a uh, PhoneGap project. So we'll go over here to PhoneGap now and we can now start setting the properties of our uh, uh, PhoneGap project. So I'll say I want to build for iOS and Android. I'll set my initial component over there and now you can see that um, we're also going to need to set our uh, Ajax callback URL so I'll just go there and choose one that I've uh, previously used. You'll see that I haven't yet filled in name and password that that is a requirement um, but we don't need to do that right now and you can see that in the PhoneGap Genie now there's a property here called SQLite databases and this is going to allow me to create um, some definitions that define how the SQLite databases should be created and then once those SQLite databases have been created they're going to be put into the names of those databases is going to be added to this additional file section here so that those SQLite databases will be built into the PhoneGap project so I'll go over here to SQLite databases and you can create uh, one or more database uh, database files and then each database file can contain one or more tables. So let's go over here and we'll just call this say DB1. So you can see that we actually add a .db extension automatically over there and then let's go and define the contents of this database. So we can go here and say well we'd like this uh, database to have a table called customers and this table should be created by making a SQL query so we'll go here and we'll choose the uh, Northwind um, uh, connection string. So we'll go there and then we'll go to uh, table name and we'll choose customers. And then we'll choose the fields that we want. So we'll go ahead here and uh, choose a bunch of fields. So these are the fields uh, in the customers table that will now be put into the customers table in the SQLite database. If I go ahead here and say preview you can see the data that's going to show up there in my uh, database. So I'm going to go ahead there and click. Uh, well, let's go add another table. So we'll go here and we'll add in, say, products, and then go ahead now and define this table over here. And we'll go again and do a SQL query. Again, we'll use the Northwind connection string. But of course, we could um, use a connection to a totally different database and put tables from different databases in our SQLite database. So we'll go now and choose the uh, products table and then we'll go here and choose our field list. Go ahead now and click OK and then click OK. So now you can see we've defined one uh, SQLite database. So let's pause now and pick this up in the next video. So we're continuing now discussing how you can create pre-populated SQLite databases and add them to your PhoneGap project. So at this point we've defined a SQLite database called DB1. This database has got two tables in it that um, are both based on SQL queries but they could also be based on static data 
or just XBasic that can do arbitrary queries against, say, REST endpoints or SOAP services to get the data. But we haven't actually physically created the SQLite database file yet. So I'm going to go here and say create the SQLite database file and you can see now this file has been created. So we've created a physical file now called db1.db and then when I click OK you can see that db1.db has been added to the additional files required property over here. And if we actually were to save this now and um, so you can see the PhoneGap project has been created. I'm not going to actually submit it to PhoneGap Build. But if we go into our PhoneGap folder now and look inside the www folder, we can actually see that there's our PhoneGap uh, file. So this is a PhoneGap, uh, this is a SQLite, sorry, a SQLite database file. So this is a SQLite database file that's going to now be part of our PhoneGap project and that means that when our PhoneGap application is running, we can make SQL queries against the um, tables in this database and of course these tables could be quite large which means that even if you're disconnected you're going to have access to a large amount of data in your uh, PhoneGap application. So thanks very much for watching.